Hello, welcome back. Last time I adopted a different approach to this game. Everybody seemed to enjoy it, and I did too, so I think that's just what we're gonna do going forward. I played just a little bit more on my own, and here are the things that I discovered. Uh, I was able to get enough Kali favor for invigoration. Here's what it looks like. So apparently it's just royal jelly now. Uh, the health doesn't go directly to me. So one thing that occurs to me is that's going to affect um, my veganism. And I don't know what that means, but it's something that my character writes in his journal, so it must mean something. Uh, yeah, so I can't take that health benefit without losing vegan status. <laughs> Still no idea why that's a thing, so that would make me vegetarian. Eating turkey would me make me neither. Uh, other stuff. I happened to go to Volcana and... Um, met up with Van Horsing and then fought Vlad, which apparently I hadn't done before, and it does something. So yeah, Vlad, uh, I guess, just gives me a quick easy kill on... Or, no, other way around. Van Horsing gives me a quick easy kill on Vlad. He just turns into a little arrow trap there, so if I want to kill him, then meet Van Horsing first. I get a diamond and I get an easy kill. You're noisy. Go away. Or just, like, be quiet. I'll hold you and pet you for a bit. <laughs> uh, what else did I do? I had another eggplant opportunity and decided to take it to quill back and throw it at him and see what it did. It does nothing. <laughs> it does damage, I guess. Did it do damage? I don't know. Uh, it hits him and breaks, as expected. Eggplants probably for something much later. Anyway, um, and I just happened to fall on thorns in the jungle when I had spike shoes. And it turns out that doesn't damage me, so that's good to know. Just a handy little thing. Okay, so, uh, goals largely remain. Now, I had discovered this whole new mystery in 1-4. Sorry, trying to look at notes at the same time, and it's awkward. I moved a bunch of stuff around, and it's weird. Uh, so, one of my primary goals is still get to the City of Gold with an Ankh, and, oops, sacrifice myself on, uh, that altar that I had blown up the first time I made it there. Uh and see what happens. I had a thought. There's this big lava pool through a one-way door in uh, toward the end of the tide pool. I'm starting to think that might be the equivalent of uh, the uh, the Ankh altar in um, City of Gold for tide pool, because I figure it must have an equivalent, and if it has one, then that's probably what it is. Because, like, Something that looks like certain death. Maybe something would happen there if I uh, made a sacrifice. I'm looking for an object to throw to break those, but I don't have one. Uh, I don't think this would work. Well, certainly won't now. I mean, this will just break on the spikes. Actually, it won't even go through the thing, even if I... Well, take damage by doing that. Whatever. Uh, anyway, yeah. So, um, I want to go there and look for Ankh iconography. I wasn't specifically looking for that... That is not at all what I thought would happen. Okay, so I learned that ropes upward do break bone blocks. I was expecting that to hit the bone, stop, put the rope downward to here, as well as giving me a way up there so I could get the hamster. All right, learning things. Right, uh, back to tide pool. Look for Ankh iconography in that, past that one way door where I can take the idol and just die to lava uh, and see if it might be the equivalent. 
There's a bunch of other mysterious stuff in Tidepool probably that I haven't interacted with a whole lot. Don't know what Excalibur might be for. Probably something. Maybe it's just a cool reward if I get there with uh, a crown or headjet. Uh, still do need to verify that those do the same thing, but I... How else would it be? Surely they do. Surely. Uh, Turkey, you can get me reverse traversability to that crate. It's really hard to get on your back though. Very specific. I guess what it is is I have to fall from slightly higher than where I was on that ledge. So I had to jump up before getting on your back for that. Uh, additional turkey to uh, down there. I'll take it. Uh. So, uh, right, the big mystery I discovered last time, the backside of 1-4, uh, had some thoughts about that. Starting to wonder if it could be a sort of thing where, okay, so, like, there was a big do uh, thing blocking the, the, um, the door I wanted to enter to the backside, which looked like sort of a screaming face. Um, there's sort of a screaming face on that pot there. I don't suspect those are related. One theory I have, um, dwelling's all about cavemen, right? Quillback's a giant caveman, there are cavemen sleeping in that place that I'm trying to get into. It's sort of the most visible feature of it. What if there's a thing that happens whenever I hurt a caveman ever in a run? Like, including Quillback, maybe I have to get there just without ever, well, killing or maybe even damaging a caveman. To, uh, oh, sorry, turkey. Uh, for something to happen. Sorry, hamster, but you'll be fine. And you'll even rescue yourself. Alright, so these are going to Young down there. Uh, what am I doing with this shop? I have enough to buy what I want, so I'm gonna buy what I want. That'll include Boomerang. Check it out. In my playing on my own, Yang's stashes have been extremely poor. Uh, all the times that I saw a, uh... Um like a crate or two in there. I feel like I got extremely lucky because that's just not happening anymore, I'm finding. Ha! <laughs> well, look at that. I got lucky. Oh, check it. It's a Maddock. I need this. I have plans. Uh, can I afford? Not quite, but I can change that. What happens if I sell Tun an idol? What will she say about that? I can easily get this safely. Alright, came in sleeping in there. Gonna sell this, buy the Maddock, and use it for digging around. I humbly accept this in trade. Alright, cool. Thanks. Uh, Alright, let's go before Ghost shows up. Uh, on the way, I'll try not to harm cavemen, and since I have the option of getting a Maddock, I'm gonna dig under Quillback and see if I can get to that door with no cavemen having taken damage. And, uh, let's see. I could use this as a weapon, but I want to save it for later. Uh, yeah, see if it's just as closed off. The exact location of that th oops uh, thing is a little hard to find. Right, I have spike shoes now. Um, but I, th I can I can see where it is from the volcano uh, passage, sort of. So I'll work at it like that. Okay, um, I need a skull now. There's one. Uh, that was close. I made it work, though. Uh, how much interest do I have in an Ujat Eye? One of those will have one in it. Um, enough interest to bother getting it, I guess, is the... Oh, sure. Uh, the answer to that. And I can get back with a key. Great. I'm gonna dig down to it because this shop is in the way. I could buy more bombs. Madoc won't last forever. It probably won't be sufficient on its own to get me to the... Um, the thing I want to get to. Dog, I want you not to get hit my main thing. So I'm gonna move you. There we go. Uh, sure. I'll break that and take this. And I want to see what's in that other building down there. Oh, shoot! I, okay, didn't mean to drop. I pressed the jump button instead of the throw button. And that was the result. It's fine. But it might not have been. But it was. I take that gold bar, but that's... Not worth it. Not worth the time and effort. Okay, um, you sold three bomb bags and uh, what else? There's one other thing you had. It was something that I remember looking uninteresting, a shield. Yeah, I'm not into the shield. 
One of my least favorite items. Uh, yes, I will buy as many bomb bags as I can, which is all of them. Great. Uh, okay, I swung this Madoc like three times or so. Uh, there's nothing that looks like it's of interest to me to explore there, so I'm going to move on. Can I get to that pot there? I think so. <laughs> I believe I have not harmed any cavemen yet. And it is beating of drums time. Okay. So. Can take a quick look here. Uh, it should be quick though because I do have kind of a harsh time limit here. So I need to do a bunch of stuff before Ghosty arrives. All right, so hey you, look over here and roll if you want. I would appreciate if you would roll. Just get out of my way, please. It's a little hard to make you do that. Um, okay, then let's ignore each other for now. I'm going down here. Okay, let me, um, let me get a look at what I want to see here. I could save the cat while I'm here, but I'm busy. <laughs> bat. Bat in the dark. I can dig a little closer to see what I can see there in the back side. Let's do that. Cat, I'm going to have to pick you up for a moment. Don't worry about it. This is all, like, covered in stuff. Well, it doesn't tell me anything. If I had spectacles, maybe I could see more, but I don't. Okay, so anyway, that's down to and over like a screen and a half, as usual. So this is down to, just go straight in here. Oh, is it directly above the shortcut entrance? Above and one over. Okay, so it is still closed. All right, so it is still closed. So it's not not harming any cavemen. I mean, that was a huge stretch. It was plausible, but it was a huge stretch. I have spike shoes. Oh. You're gonna make a mess now. That's what you do. You messy dude. Oh boy. Alright, you made yourself a little harder to stomp. I don't want to stomp you now. That's a bad time. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. There. Yeah, and it. I also was vegan at that point. I hadn't eaten any turkeys, so... Well, all right. Shot down a couple of theories. That's useful. Whoops. Um, doing what I did there is not, but I can... Uh, I can... Uh, uh, improvise something. Okay, that works. Hold up. No, okay. I thought for a second that caused you to actually do a higher jump um, when you were swinging up there, but no, it just, just swings high. All right, so I don't know what's up with this yet. Um, there might be more to discover if I were to dig around, but I'm going to move on. I ended up in Volcana. That's fine. I played this a little more, and it, it treated me a bit better for once, and Jungle treated me a bit worse. So maybe I was, like, getting lucky in the jungle and getting unlucky in the Volcano. Uh... Yeah, snap traps are definitely a thing that make the jungle a little unpleasant. Uh, I still maintain they're not as bad as lava. Uh, Turkey got hit by something. Okay, I'm gonna mine to that cat. That seems like the best way to go. If I'm losing this Maddox soon, which I probably am, then let me make the most of it while I still have it. Uh, if I dig here, oops, I think from that chain I can, what happened? <sighs> Somebody broke a curse pot, seriously? That is so rude. Well, I wanted to take that key with me, but I guess I'm just making a mad dash for the exit now. All right, oh shoot, well, uh, there was one of those above my head. <laughs> okay, well, let me see what else I can do here. All right, let's do something real quick. If I take this shortcut and then bomb to, let's see here, since I'm not 
preserving your lives anymore. You can help me with a little boost. Let me try bombing to the spot if I can. So this should get me to it if I have enough bombs, which I might. Thing is, like, bombing in a straight line just doesn't work the same in this game. I'm gonna go downward here. And I can see the edge of it. It's behind that block. Alright, I threw good, but that wasn't actually the edge of what I thought it was. I guess I haven't tried bombing open the uh, the thing itself. Kovac's up there. Um, there's nothing I really want to do from here, so I'm just going to end adventure. I could try that again and see if I can bomb to the spot, but let's not. Um, okay, let's do this. Let me make a quick little trip to Tidepool. Uh... And see something. Also, it's rumored. The way that Quillback was there, Olmec may actually be active up here, too. He is, okay. So I'd have to climb up a rope and get him to smash down. Apparently, this is the way to get into the temple if you don't want to spend all your bombs right away. Uh, so now I know that. You're about to smash on me. Uh, temple's not where I'm going right now, though, but good to know that I can do that. Hey, you. Have, uh, this. Oops, I missed. Alright, don't have it, then. Have a crab. Crabs probably can't break that. Anyway, so I'm trying to get to the end of Tide Pool. I already lost a health and a rope. So, you know, this isn't the best start, but, you know, it's probably fine. Okay, so skeletons do turn around, even if they saw me from the right, if I'm on the left when I... Look at all these pets! Oh. I've been boosted. That was a huge boost off of that thing as it came up. Uh, alright, so Axolotl's not a pet yet, but I could tame it and turn it into one. I want this... Okay. This is a messy situation. I'm gonna do this. The net result was I was blinded, I took one damage... And those things happened. I'll take the turkey. Uh, Madam Tusk, I could mess with you right now. This is a low risk time to do that, but I got other stuff going on. Oh, hey, I died from that somehow. So the turkey was not able to... a lion trap. Turkey was not able to protect me from that. Okay, so anyway, I want to get to 4-3, is it? Where the lava pit is? And just see what I see down there. Oh, check it out. I found a plasma cannon. So I'm in the backside of 4-3 right now. Okay, I can get the journal entry just by picking it up. Great. It was built by aliens, but sadly the recoil proved too strong for them to use it easily. She'd probably kill me if I fired it. I'm okay with that. Okay, it takes a while to recharge. She hasn't managed to actually kill me yet. She tried. I got her. Okay, neat. Well, that's plasma cannon. Pew! Well, that's fun. <laughs> All right. Yep, works just like the old one. Okay, so anyway, um, so down here I should be able to find... Yeah, here's the place. Generation in here seems pretty consistent, so it's... Uh, nor oh, shoot. Well, I guess I gotta take that passage in. Okay, so it's up high. Way left. All right. I figured I could get there from here, but I can't. Yeah, so normal in 4-1, uh, water under 4-2 with a big fish. Um, and, okay, here we go. This will not get me there still. How do I access this? And lava at the bottom of 4-3. Let's see, if I were over there, maybe... Well, I can just do it this way. Check it out. I have explosives. These would be nice to have for investigating quillback things. Um, wow, that door is... What? What door did I go through? This door doesn't... Oh, I blew something up that dropped the clam and blocked that door. That's what happened. Well, that's confusing. Also, I still can't go through here. Okay, so it's higher and lefter. I can't tell if that goes around. I'll assume it doesn't. So higher and lefter. Uh, how will I do this? Maybe with one of these? 
Yeah, the recoil is hefty. Oh shoot, ghost. That's real unfortunate. So I landed on the edge where the spikes were, or near where the spikes were. That's interesting. I'm just going to use my last rope here. I'm trying not to die here. It's unlikely to happen that way. Especially with ghost coming. Going to be double ghost soon. Single ghost only lasts 30 seconds. On my door. All right, looking for any form of Ankh iconography down here. I see none in the central temple thing. And I see none over here. So, hmm. That makes me wonder. All right, happy ghost, please go away. You're not incredibly aggressive about... I'm, I'm out of ropes. Okay, happy ghost just kind of zips around me and... Whoa, what are those noises? Uh, zips around me but doesn't actually kill me directly. It's the sad ghost who aggressively homes in on me slowly. Hmm. Okay, so uh, no Ankh symbols there, but maybe, maybe I need the Excalibur and also maybe you just do it even though there is no symbol for it. Okay, well, let me see one more time if I can get to the City of Gold. Oh, whoops. So I happen to be in 1-4 with spectacles and a torch. Uh, this is a dark level, so I get a chance to see a little better into here. Well, all I see is the doorway and a torch above. And now this has put me on the right side, which is not really where I want to be. I guess I could go to Volcano this run. That's fine. I did jungle last time and it almost went well for me, but then I misjudged my whip in a man trap and got eaten. All right, Volcano this time, I guess. Hey, I want to try something. Since I haven't really done this yet, I just want to make sure it still works. Because I'm in a pretty safe situation for it. Okay, yes, I can indeed use the ghost to turn a gem into a diamond. Didn't pick it up, because it wasn't really safe to do so, but that does still work. <sighs> ah, really? Okay, so I'm in the black market right now, and there's something super weird. There's an exit right here. Where could this possibly go? Because, like, isn't this in between zones where there's even traversable ground? Ha! <laughs> what the heck? Okay! Well, that's a new one. What? Okay, I got Olmec defeated and claimed myself an Ankh. I'd rather not talk about how long this took. Let's just say it was a very long time. This is the tide pool. That is not where I meant to go. Oh good, alright. Well, maybe we're testing the lava thing then. Okay. Fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's tempting to try to steal from you, but that's a bad idea. Alright, so... Notably missing from this run. Kapala. Uh, vertical mobility. There's a parachute. I just used one at Olmec. I have a power pack, and I've kept it with me for a while. So that's cool, I guess. Those things can be fun. Alright, crab, don't you be poisoning me. That's not a thing that I need right now. So am I gonna sacrifice myself at the lava pool? Yes, probably. I mean, like... What else could that be for? Like, it's gotta be. So at least we'll get an answer to that question, maybe. And if I just die, then I'll at least get to continue the run, if I can make it that far. Okay. I'll trade my gun for a sword, sure. The sword's really good. And might be part of this whole deal here in the lava. Or might not, I don't know. So I'll try, like, cutting the idol with, a sword, with the sword? I'll have the sword with me, and, uh, yeah, hit the idol with it. Lava will come down, I will die because of that. And, uh, 
I've been in pick up all the money mode for so long because I, I wanted I wanted to get all the uh, stuff out of the black market so that I'm just gonna be picking up all the money. Yeah, so a lot of back-to-back, -back, very slow and careful, you know, high investment runs just happened. Oh, well, aren't you a obnoxious little dude with a, a crate? Uh, also notably missing paste. I don't have any of that. Um, okay, well, I can get a sword. If I chop up the... Um, got a sword. If I chop up the box crab, what'll that do to the box? The box will still be there, right? So if I want to do that star challenge, I'll have to... Oh, shoot. Whatever. Not whatever. My health is not uh, a solved problem in this run. Okay, you're going that way. Great. Great, 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 great. Sure, that's a fine spot. I'm going to push a ton around slightly, or not. Okay, star challenge. Let's try not to die here. That'd be nice. Uh, bat. Okay, got a torch. Oh, hey, um, so I have a power pack. I can actually just light these manually. That's super cool. Uh, Clover, yes, please. I shouldn't waste my time on it now, because I didn't immediately need it. It's fine. By the way, it can whip those lanterns, and they sometimes have stuff inside. Alright, um... I guess I'm just taking the, like, go and manually light everything route here. That's the last one. I win. I win. I did it. Take that, star challenge. Okay, and did I get a crossbow for that? Are you serious? A crossbow. That's my prize. No, there's also a clone gun. Okay. So, clone gun. What might be up with you? Let's try cloning Excalibur. It made another... It made a broken Excalibur. Broken sword. Although perhaps it is no, it no longer contains its full strength, it's still a formidable weapon. Alright, I have a suspicion that that might give me... Uh, I'm kind of tempted to use this on ton. I don't think I will, though. Uh, I have a suspicion that... Oh, sorry, I pushed you a bit. Uh, the broken Excalibur is something I will get after doing something with this. Like, I'll make a sacrifice with a sword, and, uh... Oh boy, let's see, what am I gonna do with the clone gun? I don't want to make Ton angry! Would the clone gun hurt her? I'm gonna try it. I hope she doesn't, like, poison me here. I'm gonna shoot and run away. I'm gonna squish my gun, that's fine, I'm not taking it with me. Alright, Ton, you're gonna get cloned. Okay, she doesn't like it. Alright, I'm in the water. And I'm poisoned, and I'm basically dead. Fantastic. I have no way to cure this poison. I could have maybe taken that sword down to interact with the fish. Let's see. Is there anything I could possibly do to cure this poison? Before it kills me. Well, I can use my unk. You know what? This is a lava level. That doesn't mean anything, though, because I'm not down there doing the thing, whatever the thing is. Just, like, dying in this area won't help. Alright, well, because I tried the clone gun, it did make another of her. <laughs> she wasn't happy about that, though. I mean, fair enough. She didn't volunteer for that. Alright, you. Uh. 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 There's a Mechapala. Okay. Well... Now I can refill my health. After it's less relevant than it was. Uh, so yeah, I definitely get this invincibility period after I go through a door that lasts a little while. Oh, she's here hunting me. Let's kill her. No, let's not. I might get poisoned again. Wait, this is 4-3. Yes, right, of course. Where the, uh, where the passage down is. I no longer have, uh... An onk, so I don't want to go down there and interact with that. Kind of tempted to try and get a ton kill here, but I don't think it's likely to happen. Let's see if, if I don't kill her, if she keeps on hunting me. I mean, obviously she will. Why wouldn't she? Until I'm forgiven, like a shopkeeper, so probably will hunt me for one more level. And then forget what I did to her. <laughs> Which isn't that bad. All I did was shoot her with a clone gun. I mean, come on now, ton. How bad is that, really? Alright, Kitty lived. 
Um, you need to go away. And you do too. Look at me. Squirt me, go in the lava. Okay. I could put down my power pack and juice this cat. Well, I can't anymore, but I could have for a moment. I chose not to. I could juice this crab. It's a little dangerous. Yeah, it's a lot dangerous. I did it anyway. I got nothing. Four three. No, four four. That's where I am. Uh. Why couldn't I have just managed to actually go in the temple entrance like I meant to? Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Okay, it's fine. That was worth some blood. Great. That's his claw. Got his claw. Huh. That's cool. Can I chop it up for blood? No. It's impervious. Can chop you up for blood. Oh hey! Am I immune to ink because I have the head jet or something? I wonder. Or because I have the Excalibur or something? Okay, let's not take little hits like that. Just don't. When you don't need to. Oh, that trap rearmed, by the way. Watch out for it. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, just wait forever? Yeah, pretty much. I guess I went at a time when you couldn't switch to the floor, so you did not. All right. Uh, well, you dropped that. Good for you. Still got no vertical... Well, I have climbing gloves. That's the vertical mobility I get. All right. Shwing, shwing, shwing. Doesn't do anything. Okay, and now half of it's gone. It's been a long time since I saw the ice caves. Forgot what it was like. Right, there's like yetis to fight in here. Jungle sisters do things. I did rescue all three of them this run. I found a secret. Hey, it's Waddler. I could give you the Excalibur. I don't know that that would mean anything. It's interesting that there's a Waddler here. Huh. Okay. I figured it would just show up, like, once in uh, the normal place. Oh, right. Okay, so I need to deal with that explosion. Going through a door would make me invincible, but I don't really trust that. Hey. Whoa, that was weird. Uh. Smells like wet fur. I think I tried to Excalibur the Yeti King once and that went badly for me, so let's not do it that way again. I'm gonna take your blood. You're not gonna take my sword. Yo, you stop that. You're impervious to my fire whip for some reason. How strange. At some point, I don't want to do it because they're they seem like nice people, but at some point I do need to try killing the jungle sisters. Uh... Trying to hit this Yeti. Why? I don't need to. Alright, Yeti Queen should be okay to attack from the front. Mm -hmm. The King is not. If I'm quick about it, maybe, but I don't trust myself to be... to hit him reliably that quickly. Maybe I should just take the tried and true throw lots of stuff at him method. Well, here's the back. Okay. Okay. That could have gone worse. That actually went pretty well. He does turn around, but that gave me enough time to hit him before his ice breath got me. And sure, he dropped ice on my head, but that only did one damage, and I have health refilling now, finally. Okay, it's fine. Um, do I want to be down there for any reason? No. Not really super looking around here, just kind of going toward the exit. I've seen all I need to see. Yeah, so chopping that up doesn't give me blood. All of their blood was already used up. But I can stomp and get some. Neo Babylon. You know, I already killed Tiamat. That's not it's not the most interesting thing to like go and do that again. Maybe I'll try to get into Madame's just to have something new going on during this run. That sounds like a plan, because that is a place that I do need to figure out. I have a sword that could make quick work of any bodyguards. Thing is, they have projectile weapons, don't they? 
noises. Lots of blood. Okay, so I see the laser trap. I'm gonna disarm it and then go quick. And then, hey, you, have this. Uh, that's a spark. Okay, took me a second to parse it. Uh, don't sit there. Okay, that was fine. Blood, 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 blood. No blood in there. There's some blood in there. This isn't somebody I haven't rescued yet, is it? It is! Check it out! Princess Erin, a culinary expert. She travels the world looking for the most exquisite tastes to bring to her home to her kingdom of Heliotropia. Okay. You are not impervious to my fire whip. The higher hand seemed to be, but maybe I just didn't know how to how to look at things. Okay, so this place has gotten a lot less scary, um, surprisingly, since I barely spent any more time here. Dog juice! Uh... But yeah, okay, I'm... I'm able to move with confidence through 6-1 at least. Okay, that was a little scary. I wasn't sure how the pinching would interact with me being hung on a ledge. Fortunately, it was nice to me. Oh no, huge lava pit. I hate it. Let's move past it quickly, I guess. Uh, okay, sure, whatever. Blood. You have this. Uh, I need to know whether the Excalibur makes you explode right away. I worry it might. The Chris Knife did. I Let's not do that. So I may have just been, like, on the brink of death several times for no good reason. I'm gonna be on the brink of death in Spelunky, which I always am. Uh, I'd like it to be for a reason. Okay. So I have to... I keep having to remind myself that the, the elevators... Oh, stop that. I want to know, though. But I don't want to die for it. This is icky. I'm gonna make my own path down. Um, Madame's is on the next level. All right, all right, I have to know. Like, this is just important knowledge that needs to be gained, possibly at the cost of my life. And now I know, it is safe, and I made my own way down without using one of my bombs. <laughs> oh no, I would have run out. <laughs> 35. Hey, is this the Ushabti room? Yeah, so tell me, what the heck is this? Okay, so here's an opportunity to learn about something, maybe. What are these? Let's check that journal again. Is it an item? Is it a trap? Oops. Got my items journal mostly filled out. What exactly did it say about it? Something about afterlife? A funerary figurine created to accompany someone on their journey to the underworld. I get a clover, implying there's something, like, long-winded to do here. My Excalibur's getting elevated. They make different noises. I'm gonna squish one. Mm, just squished. I'm gonna sword one. Uh, if I don't get... I got. I should have stood somewhere a little bit safer. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> this many-hour session... <laughs> Can end, finally. I was a petty criminal, I was a king, I liked pets, took a person, survived death once, eventually died, and that, yeah. Uh, as you can see there, let's see, I met Sparrow, I was a petty criminal, I stole, I think, this power pack and the shotgun that I took with me up until I traded it for a sword. Um... There's a Yang icon. I guess I brought him some turkeys and made him happy there. Okay. Headjet, Olmec, Ankh, Parachute. <laughs> that was worth putting a pin on there. Kapala, very, very late. And a new character. Okay, let's go talk to her. Oh, boy. So every time I have a session like this, it probably makes me a lot more consistent at the next time I need to... Get something done. Hi. Uh-huh, I got you out. Okay, so violence doesn't cause... <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> doesn't cause real violence in here. I can't wait to eat some more royal jelly. Alright, that's what she's into. Cool. Oops, sorry, penguin. Violence on you doesn't, uh, doesn't get erased. Hey, what the heck? Oh, surface level. Well, I can look at the 
Sky? Neat. Hi. Life has meaning in the things that mean something to us, okay? So rescuing characters has given me some new things here, and that's interesting. Can I die out here? Is that enough of a fall to kill me? Okay, I don't take damage. Can I leave? Oh, that's how you get seated runs! Okay, finally! I was wondering. That was a big mystery. <laughs> okay, so, and what the heck is this? A bedroom. I guess that's where a guy sleeps. Okay. So is there an atmosphere on the moon? Like, everybody seems to be breathing okay here. Good for them. All right. <laughs> so that's where you get seated runs. Neat. Oh, and when I go down here. Okay, now I do maintain control. It's just like a weird long pause in there. Okay, Um. so seated runs. That's actually a huge, huge, huge deal for this LP. That way I can hone in on stuff and not have to trust random level generation. Whoa, okay. So, hang on. I need to process what just happened. I got seated runs. Therefore, I won't have to play multi-hour sessions again. Like, that is just execution. All the luck is gone. Yeah, okay. Thank you. That's huge. Okay, seated runs. I'll have to do non-seated for some things, like, uh... Achievements are keyed on that, and like gems probably are different if I if I take a seated run. But yeah, okay. Oh, okay. So next time we can try seated runs, and everything will be much nicer to me. <laughs> I'll see you then.